Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there on YouTube land watching. John and Ellie back at you with another beer review. And today I am looking at Cigar City Brewing Company's Florida Cracker. Florida Cracker. Sorry about the glare there, guys. But Florida Cracker. It is a Belgian-style white ale brewed with coriander and orange peel. So somewhere along the lines of Blue Moon, Belgian white. There you go. Cigar City Brewing. Hecho a mano, born in Tampa, Florida. So hecho a mano, made by hand, Tampa, Florida. I don't know why they have the Spanish on there. Sorry about the focus. Let me try to... Oh, it doesn't want to correct itself. Come on. There we go. Sorry. All right. Though it's named for the 18th century crack it, uh, Cracker Boys of the Florida Prairie, the citrusy notes and effervescent body of this Belgian-style white ale make it perfect for any lovers of fresh air and outdoor adventures. Uh, CigarCityBrewing.com. So I haven't looked, but I guess they have their own website. It might not work uh, or still be up, but we shall see, or you can see for yourself if you check it out. It says, drink fresh, do not age. And this was canned on June 27th of this year. So very fresh. And it says, make it count. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's kind of kind of funny. Interesting that they put that on the make it count there on the bottom. Anyway, um, I like the can design. The light color is very simple. I like the Cigar City Brewing logo. Pretty cool stuff. I've never had a Cigar City Brewing beer, although I've been seeing their stuff around for years now. Uh, and they had a lot of, of their products at the uh, at the grocery store. So anyway... Um, it is 15 IBUs and 5.5% alcohol. I wonder if they changed the IBUs, and maybe Ronald Terrio can tell me this. I watched his review, and uh, it he said it was 18 IBUs, and he has it listed as 18 IBUs. So maybe they dropped it down to 15. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it clearly says 15 IBUs on the label and 5.5% alcohol. So I don't really know. Not that big of a difference, though. <laughs> Either way. And um, I'm in a beer drinking mood today, guys. Got home from work. Uh, this is my third review that I will post. I mean, I'm not drinking heavy alcohol stuff. I'm just having a few beers and trying to post some videos for all the loyal YouTube people out there that, that watch my reviews. And I appreciate it. And I will try to be a little bit more consistent with the regularity of my channel. I've just been really busy lately. The beer poured very nice. Uh, it's a little bit cloudy. It's kind of a, a straw to light golden color. Very hazy. Um, hold it up to the sunlight. There are no um, you know, floaties in this one at all, although it is very hazy. As you can see, it poured with a one and a half, two finger head. Uh, creamy, dreamy, delightful looking head at that. All right, so on the aroma, it's definitely very sharp. You get uh, almost like a blue moon on a crack. Very, um, very sharp. Very, um, you're getting that coriander. You're getting that orange peel. You're getting a little bit of bitterness on the aroma. At 15 IBUs, that's surprising. It's not super high. I think the coriander, maybe. That's that's the main aroma I'm getting, which is kind of surprising. It smells really good, though. And at 5.5% alcohol, it's a little on the higher end of sessionable, but it's still, I would consider 5.5% pretty sessionable. It smells pretty dang good. Like a better version of Blue Moon already. That's what I'm getting on the aroma. Those are my thoughts. So, uh... Without further ado, let's get into it. Cheers, guys. Ooh. You're getting that coriander. You're getting a little bit of that orange peel. But the main thing I'm getting with this 
is a little bit of banana, like, um, oh, what's that beer? Franza Connor. It tastes a lot like Franza Connor, which is um, a Belgian style, like Trappist style ale, I believe. But a lot of those Belgian style ales, the triples and the, you know, even the doubles, you get the banana notes. I'm getting banana with this, which is really surprising and really nice because I love beers with banana notes in them. And this one, I'm getting banana. More so than the orange. The orange and the coriander are coming through nicely on the aroma, but on the taste, very banana-like coriander, a little bit of the orange pill, a little bit of the hot presence is, is coming through on the back end, and it, it balances it out nicely, and it drops off nicely as well, so it's got a pretty dry finish. It's very inviting, uh, so definitely sessionable. Um, light bodied, light carbonation, a little weedy. Wheat bread, I guess you could say, in the middle of the sip. So very nice, complex beer. Um, to me, this is just like a better Belgian white ale than Blue Moon and Shock Top. It's a like a much craftier version of those beers. Florida Cracker. Everything from the label to the taste is more interesting. Um, banana, coriander, orange pill, a little spicy note. Nice wheat bread, wheat bread crust breadiness in the middle of the sip. Very dry, refreshing finish with a nice little hop bite in there. Uh, and sessionable at 5.5%. Uh, you could drink a few of these and really be a happy camper. Um, poured nicely. Got a little bit of splotchy lacing going on there as well. So, winner. <laughs> um, for rating, I'm going to go 97 out of 100. I think it is that good. It's probably one of the best Belgian white ales I've ever had, if not the best Belgian white ale. Uh, it's definitely better than Blue Moon and Shock Top, and those are beers that are made similar similarly to this beer. Um, this one's better. It does it better. And uh, I did buy a single, well, not a single. I got the Pick Your Own Six Pack at my local grocery store. Um, so I'm not sure what, what an actual six pack, 12 pack of this beer would cost. Um, but if it's if it's reasonable, <laughs> definitely pick up a bunch of these. They're really good. Definitely be great on a hot summer's day, out by the pool after mowing the, the yard, uh, doing doing any yard work really, being out in the sun, uh, construction work. I mean, you name it. Anything out in the heat, this will be a great light bodied, refreshing beer that's packed full of flavor without being heavy. And, and this is just the perfectly balanced beer. I highly recommend that you go out and buy it and try it if you have not already. It blows the Blue Moon and Shock Top away as far as uh, the complexity of flavors that you're getting uh, for a simple Belgian white ale. Uh, that's, you know, you got your basic coriander and orange peel, Blue Moon, Shock Top. In a nutshell, that's what you're getting, but there's a lot more flavor with this product, and it doesn't add to the heaviness of the beer. So very light body, very refreshing, packed full of flavor. Highly recommend it. If you like Blue Moon and Shock Top, uh, you will love this beer. It's better than both of those, in my opinion. So 97 out of 100, that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Uh, until next time, everybody. Cheers.